So I thought I'd do a Halloween theme one, one of probably two I'm, I think I'm going to do. Um, and this one is uh, just pumpkins. So pumpkins in jack-o'-lanterns, so pumpkins are sort of oval, but they can be other shapes too. And then they have a stem. And then to make the lines, I sort of just dot them like that to show how the roundness of the pumpkin. And it's just, just my style. You can do whatever you want, you know. And maybe too many, but that's okay. Um, and depending on what you want to do for um, for jack-o'-lanterning, I'm going to do a black, which is why I drew the lines like this. So I'm going to make evil sort of eyes on my jack-o'-lantern like this. And I sort of fell into this on a project, a, you know, first grade art project that I was working on with an art teacher and my kids. And I try to participate along with the kids to sort of inspire them to, to work. Um, I'm going to make sort of an evil smile, not even toothy. Um, there's a lot to be said about implied scariness or implied violence or implied, you know, peril rather than just throwing it all out right in front of you. So, you know, an evil smiling pumpkin like this without teeth to me is just as scary, perhaps even scarier sometimes than one with a lot of teeth and stuff on it because, you know, the teeth are there. It's like, you know, I know something bad's going to happen. And this one was like, yeah, I'm not sure if something's going to bad, something bad is going to happen or not. So, um, so does my pumpkin. Um, obviously, if you're going to do uh, a one with lit inside like maybe you want to color them yellow or something like that you're gonna to have to do the eyes first so do the eyes first depending on how realistic you want to get or how much texture you want to put into it you may have to make them bigger than i am and i'll show you why in just a second so then you can do the dots lines like that the pumpkin the reason i say sometimes you may have to make it bigger is if you come up here like this and do one, you make it bigger, make the eyes bigger, the nose bigger, and the mouth wider. Now you can go back in and add the thickness of the pumpkin, because you know pumpkins are pretty thick. When you cut through them, right? They're like big, thick squash things. So then this would be your black area up here. I'll just do this really quickly. I'm not gonna like completely color it in, but these would be your black areas, your dark areas, or your light areas, like your yellow areas if you're putting light in it. And then you'd play with two different kinds of orange, you know, to to do this darker orange and then this lighter orange to show the inside of the pumpkin. You can still do your light like this. So it all depends on what you're going for, what you know, what, what look you want to do. Um, you can also do pumpkins that aren't, you know, as oval. You can do pumpkins like this. And one of the discussions we always have is, you know, what do you have to show to make a, to show that it's a pumpkin? So I would guess, you know, in this one, you know, we've got the shape, we've got the stem. If we do the lines, that is still a pumpkin. And then, of course, color is going to help you too, which I'm not going to do right now. All right? So that's the pumpkin one. So hopefully you liked it. Hopefully this helps, and I hope you play with it and take it to different levels that you want to do. You know, make it your own. Have a great one, and we'll see you on the next one.